Okay, so we're given y equals 3x squared plus 4 root x, and we have to do some calculus differentiating and integrating. Um, the only issue is that we've got root x, um, which we can't integrate or differentiate like that. So we need to rewrite it as a power of x before we can get going. So uh, y equals 3x squared, and we just replace root x with x to the power of half. So now I can get on and do some calculus. Part a, to differentiate that, get dy by dx. The first term we get three lots of, and the x squared, we're going to multiply by the power and reduce the power by one. So we get two x to the power one, or just two x. For the second term, we have four lots of, and the x to the power half, again, multiply by the power, so times by a half, and reduce the power by 1, which gives me x to the power minus a half. Um, technically that has answered the question, but we'll tidy it up a little bit to get 6x, and then 4 times a half is 2, so 2x two to the power minus a half. That's our answer to part A. Part B, it wants the second derivative, d2y by dx squared, so we're simply going to differentiate our answer from part A. So we have six lots of what you get when you differentiate x, which is just one, so we get six. Um, and then two lots of, well, if we differentiate x to the power minus a half, multiplied by the power, so we have minus a half, and when you decrease the power by one, you get minus three over two, or minus one and a half. And again, that is really the answer, but we'll tidy it up. Two times minus a half is minus one, so it's six minus x to the power minus three over two. Uh, finally, we're going to find the integral of y with respect to x. So we're integrating the same thing that we've just differentiated. So the integral of 3x squared plus 4x to the power of half with respect to x. First of all, we have three lots of, and if you increase the power by 1 and divide by the new power, x cubed over 3. Next, we have four lots of, well, again, increase the power by 1, we get x to the power 3 over 2 and divide by that power, so divided by 3 over 2. Don't forget plus c. You lose a mark without that. Um, now, we'll tidy that up a little bit, so 3 over 3 is 1, 4 over 3 over 2, that's like 4 times 2 over 3, so 8 thirds x to the power of 3 over 2. Still have plus c, and that's your answer. Okay, we're given a function um, of x, y equals 4x cubed minus 1 plus 2x to the power of half, and we're asked to differentiate it. So, remember the rules for powers of x, you multiply by the power, and then you decrease the power by 1. So let's have a go. Uh, so dy by dx, first term we have 4, and then we look at what happens to the x cubed. We're going to multiply by the power, so we get a 3, and then we decrease the power by 1, which becomes 2, so 3x squared. Minus 1, a constant, when you differentiate it, gives you nothing, 0. Okay, so I wouldn't normally write that in, but that's just to illustrate what comes from that term. And then finally we have the 2, lots of, well, that one there, we multiply by the power, which is a half, and then decrease the power by 1, which will be minus a half. So we have 2 lots of a half x to the power minus a half. That's your answer, but we'll tidy it up. 12x squared, 2 times a half is 1, so we get plus x to the power minus a half. And that's it. Right, we need to show that uh, this expression, 4 plus 3 root x squared, can be written like this, 16 plus k root x plus 9x. And we have to show, uh, well, we find out what k is. So. Let's expand these brackets, writing out longhand like this, we can make it clearer. 4 times 4 is 16, uh, 4 times 3 root x gives me 12 root x. Moving on to the second term in the first bracket, that times that gives me again 12 root x. And finally, 3 root x times 3 root x, well, 3 times 3 is 9, and then we have root x squared, so root x times root x, which I'll simplify in a minute. So we have 16, the two 12 root x's can be combined to give me 24 root x, and root x squared is obviously x. That gives me 9x like I wanted, and we've done it. So k equals 24. 
Part B, we're asked to integrate 4 plus 3 root x squared. Well, that just happens to be the thing that we've shown is equal to that. So we can integrate it. So the integral that they're after is the integral of uh, 16 plus 24 root x plus 9x, as we've just shown. Now, to integrate that, the first thing I need to do is rewrite root x as x to the power of a half, because then I can integrate it. And now I just go through term by term doing the integration. So 16 becomes 16x. Then we have 24 lots of what you get when you integrate x to the power of half. So increase the power by 1, which is x to the power of 3 over 2, and divide by the new power. And then we have 9 times whatever we get when we integrate x, which is x squared divided by 2. And of course, don't forget plus c. So that's your answer really, but we'll tidy it up. 16x, um, 24 divided by 3 over 2 is 24 times 2 thirds, which is 16. So that's 16x to the power 3 over 2. And then we're left with 9 over 2, lots of x squared and plus c. Yeah, that's it.